All right, with our first spreadsheet, we're going to be going over just basic formula entry within Excel. And I'm going to go over the sum formula and the sum product formula. First, the sum formula. Um, if you look at our spreadsheet here, we've got different factors which are used to rate outsourcing providers. And each factor has been given a weight, and this is just a weight that uh, if you're doing the rating yourself, the weight is just given based on what you or your partners feel is important in an outsourcing provider. And these should add up to one. And so to check that, we're going to put in a sum function. So we go to this bottom cell, type equals, and type the word sum, S-U-M, open the parenthesis. And once the parenthesis is there, we can click and select this range of values and close the parenthesis. And when I push enter, it's going to tell me the sum of those values. And if I change one to, say, 0.3, I'll know that it's not correctly done because these should sum to one. All right. The next formula that we want to introduce is the sum product formula. I want to, at the bottom of each of these columns, have a formula to compute the weighted score or the weighted average of each outsourcing provider. To do that, I'm going to use the sum product formula because to compute this value, it's going to take multiple, uh, multiplying each weight with each score and then summing up those products. So we're going to use some product equals some product open the parenthesis I'm going to need to select two arrays the first array we're going to do as the weight and since I'm going to be copying this formula I want to convert this range C8 to C14 to a absolute reference so I push F4 on the keyboard and it automatically puts the dollar signs between the letters and the numbers. All right, now I push comma, and I select all of the scores for the U.S. outsourcing provider. And I close the parenthesis, and this is going to sum the products across these two columns. And the weighted score is 3.9. And because I used the absolute reference, I can just copy this formula to the right by going to the bottom right corner and dragging, clicking and dragging across. And that's some basic formula entry in Excel.